what you just saw were two variants of our RDEA-driven Tensegrity robot. First the experimental evaluation version, then the demonstrator. In both, rolled electric elastomer actuators are activated by an alternating voltage, causing oscillation between two rigid segments. In this video, I show you how it works and how we made it fast and reliable for the Euro ERP Challenge 2025. You all know how DEAs work. In our system, we use a rolled variant. It's built from 50 micrometer thick Wacker Elastosil, which is screen printed with carbon black based electrodes and then tightly rolled. When voltage is applied, electrostatic forces compress the RDEA radially, which causes it to extend axially. That gives us a compact, versatile actuator, one we already use in a wide range of systems. So, what drives the locomotion? The robot has two V-shaped segments connected by four sets of RDEAs, two at the front and two at the rear. When we activate the front, the RDEAs pull these segments together, and when we activate the rear, they push them apart. This creates an oscillation, which is turned into forward motion by angled bristles with anisotropic friction. The only connection between the two segments are the RDEAs themselves. No joints, no friction, just a tensegrity structure. As we raise the driving frequency first to 5 Hz, then 20, and eventually towards 43 Hz, resonance kicks in. At that point, the RDEAs reach up to 20 person strain, and the robot hits over 180 mm per second about 1.8 times its own body length. To present the robot in live settings, we build a simplified version and paired it with a programmable high voltage amplifier. The robot now features an encapsulated design, easily replaceable RDEAs and adjustable bristles. The two-channel amplifier is based on our own resonant converter design. It's got an easy interface and enough feedback to debug things quickly. All of this adds up to a reliable, portable demo. Stop by the challenge area to see how Tensegrity, RDEAs and friction-based locomotion come together both forwards and backwards.